uh, good evening ladies and gentlemen uh, welcome to darshna's uh, chat show this is uh, reflections with darshna and uh, uh, sorry to keep you waiting uh, we normally meet at 8 pm but uh, today uh, was a very busy schedule for me and uh, that's why we are late apologies for it and we really appreciate that you've been waiting for me today we have a guest and uh, he's a multi talented personality his name is sumit gupta and uh, he is a property surveyor he has written books and uh, more about him uh, just like you i'm as excited to know more about him in this uh, uh, few minutes that we are going to be here so make sure you stay logged in and uh, there are going to be some very interesting questions about property and um, which you know ev everybody is uh, interested in property and we all have lot of uh, you know some people have lot of interest in property so make sure you stay logged in uh, welcome sumit uh, to my show thank you darshna for having me here it's my pleasure to to be part of this show so uh, sumit i believe uh, you know uh, i have seen uh, such a you have such a huge profile that uh, it's hard <laughs> for me to remember but uh, you are a property surveyor you are ricks and uh, you've written uh, lots of books so tell me right. more about what you do because uh, i need more clarity so does the <laughs> okay. audience yeah so by profession i'm a property surveyor but i do lot more than what one can expect from a property surveyor so i run a surveying practice being a surveyor i am also a property investor i have like a paralegal company which also deals with uh, quite a few legal paperwork serving notice notices uh, drafting out contracts and also we source properties for our investor clients as well so uh, so like we do run like this multiple businesses uh, but it's all like everything around property even the books mostly what i've written almost 90% of my books are written on a property investment Okay, so yeah. what does this uh, RICS mean? RICS. Uh, I um, am keen so, to know what that means. Okay, so those who have a uh, first time hearing this RICS, RICS full form is Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyor. This is the world's leading institute that recognizes the professionals in property, land, and construction. And I'm proud to say that I'm one of the RICS registered valuer who is also into the property investment, who has also got a background of chartered accountancy because I studied a finance. chartered accountancy first so i'm good in finance tax planning then i studied survey so i am good in you know understanding the building from foundation to the roof and i've studied property law over i fought over hundreds of cases in court tribunal high court upper tribunal yeah so i saw you probably one of i'm probably one of the most multi skilled and highly educated property surveyor usually will find in uk Yeah, I have seen very. Uh, I mean, uh, you have accountancy, financial knowledge plus taxation knowledge, and yeah. so all that combined, uh, you must be leading a very busy life. Oh yes, definitely. I mean, I mean, this is my passion actually. You know, like I always had this interest right from the beginning. Like when I was a child, my parents used to say, you know, I I used to love making houses with the sand and the mud, and. <laughs> i never thought maybe that time that was basically uh, you know my main passion was but as i started growing and then i studied finance but still i was having more interest because when i mean i worked for standard chartered and hsbc bank but it was in the mortgages so i was mostly always related to the real estate businesses and then i found property was something which is more creative than the finance itself so i thought maybe i'll study more and more so i started studying more and i've got now almost five certified qualification in real estate right um, so you know uh, i have also sometimes very busy days today like whole day i was busy you know i was uh, mm. mentoring you know i was doing mentoring today great what what was it i mean what exactly do you mentor so uh, you know uh, we have a charity a foundation and uh, uh -huh. we have volunteers there and uh, i was uh, mentoring the volunteers and oh, like uh, you know it <laughs> it was like a whole day session and that's why uh, we are running normally my show is at 8 pm but because okay. the session continued and then there were some question answer sessions and then there were some <laughs> meetings so that's why i late i'm running uh, late now i got it why <laughs> 
<laughs> so uh, I believe uh, you also mentor people. So I would like to know, and the audience would like to know, uh, what do you mentor people about? Uh, I mean, so basically, I, I also mentor in many fields. So mostly, like most of my businesses are also done in a way that they solve or address someone's problem. Mostly, what I've noticed is people have three types of problem: either health related, or finance or wealth related, or their relationship issues like you know, husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, in-laws and all. So brother, I sister. normally have brother, yeah, sister. brother, sister. It could be anything. Property yeah. matters. <laughs> <laughs> property matters. So what I've done is I've got a, this training academy, which is Property Expert Academy, Success Resources Ventures, which deals with like all of those type of things. And also I'm a volunteer of one of the charity called Art of Living. So I cover all these problems. So like we do teach people health, wealth, or relationship issues like life coaching. So, I mean, I believe, you know, in order to succeed and uh, speed your journey or like, or, you know, to grow your development faster, you need somebody to mentor you. Otherwise, you, on your own, you can still learn many things, but then it will take you longer. And the best way and the smartest people always do is, that's why you will find all the athletes, big businessmen and all, they always... I can't hear you. Yeah. Okay. Now I now yeah, okay, right. yeah, it was freezed for a minute, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was just saying, just to repeat, that mostly you'll see all the athletes, sports people, or the businessmen, uh, they all have a mentor in their life. Because that's why they can grow much faster in their life. Right. So uh, in terms of mentoring with property, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you have a YouTube channel and uh, you're yes, quite yes. active on it. Am I right? That's correct. Yeah. So I have a YouTube channel called Property Expert Academy. It's just like an aim to help people out, you know, especially many times people have the basic questions uh, that they want really somebody to address. So I have decided that, you know, through YouTube, whatever time I get, you know, within a week, I just make one or two video out and then I'll just publish that on our YouTube channel. So people can still see those videos in their own time or when they need help. Yeah. So, uh, you know, if uh, people want to uh, sort of uh, consult you about property, of course, they can consult you. But uh, do you mentor a specific uh, about properties? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. So this Property Expert Academy, which is a training institute, uh, we have like a various training program, like three days of, uh, you know, master class. Then we have a 12 weeks result oriented where it's like more hand holding. And then we have a, a whole 12 months mentoring session as well that we do. So it depends on each stage. Like, so for example, if we have like a three different type of products, like DIY, which is like this books, if you see, so you can just buy any of my books, go on my YouTube channel or watch one of my, you know, uh, online training program. So which is do it yourself. And then we have a done with your service where you come into our workshop. Uh, these days we do live online. So you join our online workshop from a comfort, comfort of your home. And then you learn basically with us. And then we have a done for you product, which is like completely hand free slow. So like say somebody just like to, you know, say, Sumit, here is my money. I just want to invest. You find me a deal. And then just, uh, so we have those done for you services. So mm -hmm. if somebody like to join, of course, the mentoring program, they can, uh, you know, contact our property expert academy and we'll be more than happy to help. So how amazing is that? Uh... You do it uh, ready-made for you who want to, you know, <laughs> you don't have that much time or, uh, you know, <coughs> do it. Yeah. and also you mm. can train people. So that's beautiful. Uh, that's a really, that's why I said multi-talented to me, <laughs> indeed multi-talented. But uh, my uh, question is, uh, you know, in one of your vid uh, YouTube videos, mm -hmm. uh, I uh, saw that uh, you mentioned in the video that uh, it's not necessary that you need to have a huge finance. It's not necessary that you have to have a, a lot of money to buy property. You mm -hmm. uh, teach them how to uh, buy properties. I mean, uh, with zero finance or with very little finance. Yes, so yeah. Can you tell us a bit uh, more about what this is? Because uh, I'm keen yeah. to know uh, how to buy property without uh, <laughs> having that initial investment. Because I yeah. believe for buying property, you do need that certain investment. So can you yes. tell us a bit more about this? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I'll discuss a little more. And then, of course, we do cover a lot of things in the, our workshop. But let's say some of the very uh, easy strategies which people can do. And these are not just new. They have been going on for many 
many many years people were using in into various other field like uh, purchase lease option is one of the strategy so what you do in purchase lease option is basically uh, the option first of all let's understand what is option option is the right to buy but no obligation so you can tie somebody into a contract with as low as 1 pound that's legally uh, i mean 1 pound is what legally required to bind any contract 1 pound am i just yes, 1 pound correct? yeah yeah that's right maybe you can buy a coffee you for that pound. you can buy a coffee right? yeah <laughs> so 1 pound is basically that you know down payment or whatever you say commitment money so that's the way like you basically let's say for example you come across a, a property deal you can simply agree the uh, terms of that contract or like you can agree a end date and the agreed date so for example let's say if a property what half million you can say okay fine i'll buy it for half a million and then normally what happens is like in the property business the maximum money that we make is by solving problems and then problem you can still solve by controlling a property you don't really have to acquire it right so now what happens let's say you buy a property with half million and uh, with the half million basically you only putting 1 pound as a contract that i'll buy this half million property in let's say 2 years or 3 years time now you have exchanged or, or you like you have done that agreement now within that 2 or 3 years time you can add a lot of value you can do extension you can make it more you know appealing uh, refurbish it to the highest standard and then maybe reconfigure the whole you know layout many things that can be done internally by increasing square footage by changing the purpose of it let's say commercial property can be converted into residential and many thing more or like or a, a single family house can be split into like hmo 5 6 bedroom hmo so once let's say that 500000 worth all worth of property maybe worth in 2 to 3 years time 7 to 800 by the time you also add value effectively speaking then you can just simply acquire by using that you know the safety pot that you built in 2 to 3 years time so you don't even need that deposit that's and one of them yeah, yeah. and so all this is legal and you will have the name yes. uh, you the uh, Uh, the property your name will be there on the property yeah definitely yeah. so this is normally this done by through a solicitors so you have this is called the purchase lease option so this gives you the right to purchase a property as a certain time at a certain price and this is when I mean, this is also you can register with the land registry so which means nobody can just cheat and then is normally two solicitors are involved uh, i mean i will always suggest because people sometimes try and save that money but no point of you know just saving that small fee there hire professional solicitors let the solicitor exchange the contract or like exchange the whole you know contract together by literally paying i mean physically they do transfer one pound from uh, you know buyer to seller and that makes the whole contract viable i mean uh, uh, enforceable and then you can register with the land registry so if someone uh, in the audience audience wants to have this deal with you then you have your team ready of solicitors and you will help them from the start yes. to the end to uh, complete whatever is uh, needed to yes so we have our core team of course since we are in property business for almost 20 years so we have a solicitor surveyor a mortgage broker accountant so we always work together with them so whenever we have a deal we and also many of our student now whoever you know we are mentoring and all they always have access to our you know power team we call them power team so this is always the you know best to have their team together yes yes that's good so i see um, that um, i can see a lot of books there so uh -huh. you have written couple of books as well um, yeah, i have written half a dozen of books actually half on property of half a dozen yeah <laughs> you may see three of them probably here yeah they are also okay. available on amazon some of them are on on other platforms yeah. yeah so so which is the best one what would you recommend if somebody is new into this property and they in want property to business uh, i mean so the this one is probably the best uh, this is uh, how to make money by, i mean the ultimate guide to property investment uh, this is on second edition currently uh, because this applies anywhere so it doesn't matter whether you are in uk or elsewhere you can still uh, you know use these strategies anywhere in the world uh, i basically explain 10 best property investment strategies that has been used by many investors and had made millions of pound in property business using those strategies they are very well proven they are very well used by all the top property professionals so uh, of course you know you probably guess my next question so it's uh, during this covid time what do you think in these times 
Is it a good time to buy or is it good time to sell? I mean, is it buyer's market or is it seller's market? What is your advice to our audience? Yeah, I mean, so of course there are a lot of news in in the market which people are aware as well that you know there is uh, like this RSS research which was saying that you know the market is supposed to go down because I'm an RSS survey, so we do get like regular update that is supposed to be five to ten percent. But having said that, uh, the market what I've noticed in the last couple of months uh, also in fact the market recently has shown there is a mini boom. It's not huge, but zero point five percent above ever since lockdown, and now that's one thing. And then other is like the as you may have heard warren buffet saying you know be fearful when everybody is greedy and be greedy when everyone else is fearful so this is the best time you know when people are much fearful or they're not certain what to do this is the best time when you can make money even the last recession that we had in 2008 and all uh, many companies or many property investors has made money during that time i mean when they started investing in or like in that period whatever they've invested has grown the maximum basically right. so it's always the best time i mean being a property investor i always say you know uh, whatever you say the best time is the uh, the second best time is definitely now so you should not wait for any longer get on to the property ladder as soon as possible and other thing i will also say you know there is a another thing i always say that you know property what i'm saying is from my investment point of view in my view when you buy a house for you to live in that's not as an asset in my definition that's a liability so any property that basically takes the money out of your property or out of your pocket is a liability so of course if you're looking to buy as an investor then yes by all means go uh, go ahead and buy it even if you're buying the property where you want to live in but you had that uh, investment hat on you have already checked the number will work well then yeah buy but if you're buying with emotion that you know i want to live in or like you want to buy a palace in this time or like you know so do not go and spend too much money on your own uh, you know consumable assets so if you if it is your own house then do not just try and go buy the bigger one i would say but of course buy commercial properties buy other properties even residential one as well but commercial are really uh, doing quite well nowadays and there are many reason why one should invest in commercial property but then as long as you buying from a investment point of view is always best so uh, what about you know uh, what about uh, selling property i mean uh, there are some times that people have no choice or you know economy is going down in december we are having brexit uh, march is the financial year and expecting a lot of changes in terms of all of this uh, if somebody is in a situation where they have to sell would you advise them to sell or would you advise them to wait for one or two years what 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 is your best advice yeah i would advise them to wait uh, i mean of course as long as you know they if they can hold it is always best and also i normally 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 tell people you know if they are investors uh, because i'm saying if you are yeah if you are a property uh, you know investor because if you hold it longer you hold it the more money you make because as soon as you sell there are many things like cgt in case if it is your investment property and there are other you know joint venture deal you can do as well yes, other we than sale you. we uh, we just lost you for few seconds how oh, is it after yeah sorry CGT, i think maybe it's... cgt i couldn't hear you yeah i'm saying so cgt is one of the thing that you know you and i mean if you are an investor you're selling an investment property and if you're making a gain you will pay capital gain tax so that's one of the thing but then there are many thing more than just selling you can do you know so if you can hold if you really have you know capacity to hold a property then do hold it not to sell right and uh, in terms of uh, you know the, um, there is like because of covid um, the properties are on rent and sometimes you know uh, there mm -hmm. are uh, landlords who have difficult tenants and because of right. this and they are unable to evict them so oh. then uh, what are the current rules and uh, if you really have to get rid of a tenant uh, what mm -hmm. is the procedure if you could tell us in brief and uh, do you deal with it uh, yeah i have we have a paralegal company that deals with the tenant eviction so mostly like you evict a tenant on two grounds section 8 and section 21 section 8 is for uh, default on rent and they are too much in arrears at least more than two months or eight weeks if it is a weekly tenancy Or Section Twenty One, which is known as like no default 
uh, uh, eviction process. So you can also, uh, you know, uh, hire one of our company, Paralegal, which is Green Consultant, and uh, they are very much doing this such since 21 year and eight uh, to evict the tenant. But uh, because of this COVID and uh, the mm -hmm. current situation uh, uh, and the economy, people have lost jobs. So, you know, yes. uh, it's uh, really not fair to evict tenants. So what are the tenancy rights during these times? Though? Would you would you share? I mean, of course, so yes. So it's the best time if you feel you need to assess each tenant on its own. So let's say if somebody is really living in your property for two, three, four, five years, then yeah, certainly. And then there is a genuine request you know, there's a genuine uh, uh, reason why they can't pay now. Uh, you got to work with them somehow, you know, like, and also I feel that, you know, as a property investors, we are not just uh, making money from the rental. Of course, rental is just fueling the system, but most of the money that you make it is by adding value, refinancing it, uh, which is the big, big, bigger chunk, especially, you know, when you are in London and the around, surrounding area, uh, because your capital goods are the main profit that you make. And if you, as long as you can work with your tenant, like, you know, give them some time to pay, give them some compensation relief so that, you know, there is a, there is a space for breathing. If they can breathe, I mean, they have that much, you know, markup. So at some point, of course, if their intention was good, they'll definitely pay you at some point. And also I think there are government also helping them. So, uh, you know, the government has given a lot of people grant some supports and all that. So I think they can always go, and approach that council as well. And in many cases where they are council tenants, of course, uh, you can also approach council directly that your tenant cannot pay the money. And when they are more than 13 weeks in areas, you can demand directly to the to the council that you know you pay us directly. So that can be possible as well. So there are a few arrangements one can make. But I would say assess each tenant on, on their own credibility. Yeah, and of course at this time, you know, if we can't show compassion or uh, kindness and yeah. you know, that extra support to people who are in our network, then, yeah. you know, uh, we have uh, missed the point <laughs> of this. Uh, we haven't learned anything from COVID. At yes, least uh, that is what is my take on this. Some questions are coming in because, you know, I put it on my yes, Facebook sure. that uh, you're a property consultant and uh -huh. uh, some questions are coming in uh, just sure. on my uh, mobile. And yes. this. So the, somebody is asking, for first-time landlords, um, mm -hmm. what difficulties do they face uh, and uh, what uh, what guidance would you give them? Uh, yeah, so the first-time landlord, I would say, you know, like normally what happens, imagine, like I'll give you an example. Let's say, uh, you know, if you're driving a car and you have not learned how to drive a car, so what you'll do, you'll keep crushing the other cars and, and probably hundreds of cars and by the time you crash the hundred car, you will have that balance, you know. But then other way of doing that is you get a license, learn from someone how to drive a car. And then once you get a license, then you go out and drive. So first thing I would say, you know, to those first time investors, go out and learn the skills of how to invest in property. The education is the one of the biggest thing. Second is networking. You know, go out and find other like-minded people who are also investing in property. Uh, you know, network with them. There are many network meeting happens. Even we we are doing nowadays virtually every last Saturday of every month, we do a property investors meetup. So anybody, and we kept it free currently in this difficult time. So anybody can just join free. So they can also learn from other people's, you know, the things that are not going well, the things that are going well. So the things that are going well, they can do more and more in their property journey. The things that are not going well, they should stop doing those things. So it's just about that, basically education and being in the right company. So uh, my audience, uh, can they connect with you and, uh, you know, you can yes, definitely your websites and uh, links of your books uh, so that, you know, uh, they can be in yes. touch with you. Is that uh, okay? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I would love to, I love to serve you. And of course, so uh, you can find me first on the Facebook, which is Sumit Gupta page. And a lot of links may be there. Uh, of course, what I think this you're going to put this one on Facebook, isn't it? Somewhere on. Be so, alive, I yeah. Facebook. Okay, great. So what we'll do at the end, I'll send you all the links and I'll post under that uh, video itself, so people I can just. I have tagged you, so you can please uh, post whatever are your important links, and okay. audience, please uh, connect with Sumit. Uh, we all at certain points uh, do need property advice, <laughs> and it's better to be you know 
have an expert who has uh, experience in this field so that way we feel comfortable and uh, uh, main with property i feel uh, you need to have that peace of mind otherwise if you are constantly worried if you make your own decisions if you don't take the, an expert uh, advice then you will constantly be worried so this is a good opportunity to uh, contact with sumit uh, and other than that uh, uh, there could be more questions uh, which uh, you know uh, my uh, last time also we had a guest who was a vedic astrologer and a lot of people text me a lot of people uh, sent me private mm -hmm. messages on facebook a lot of people put comments on the video so as usual if you have any more questions uh, sumit is available i have tagged him you can ask him directly or uh, you can ask me directly and uh, i'll go, go and make sure that uh, we reach out to all of you in reasonable time and answer your questions and uh, sumit uh, lovely talking to you it was my pleasure as well this night to have on this you know your show and uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah i'll be happy to help anyone if they need we'll drop our in emails you can go on our youtube channel you can find my facebook groups you can of course find a lot of support on our facebook groups and by all means if you need anything do drop me a message or email so uh, thank you sumit it was a wonderful conversation and a uh, thank you audience for being with me uh, i hope you are enjoying my chat shows uh, and this was supposed to be for only seven sundays uh, but a lot of you have requested to be a guest on my show so i'm truly truly honored and i'm pleased to inform you that i'm fully booked till november and then more bookings are in the process so uh, sunday 8 pm we meet uh, every sunday and uh, different guests every time uh, if you have any comments or suggestions for this show please get in touch with me please share this video so that more uh, people can uh, get information about property and uh, do uh, subscribe to my youtube channel as well and uh, stay in touch stay safe we meet again uh, next sunday and we have a wonderful guest his name is marcel and he's a meditation teacher as probably a lot of you know meditation is very close to my heart i love to meditate if i don't meditate i don't eat and i am sure all of you are uh, doing meditation as well so please continue um, being safe being healthy meditating and uh, next week uh, we welcome marcel please join me next sunday 8 pm and that's it for today guys uh, thank you for being with me it's always a pleasure to connect with you take care bye now bye bye, bye. to me